I'm Ryan Osbach with Copeland Canada, representing filter compressors. I'm here today to go over slide valve calibration on the VSS VSM single screw compressor. So when powering up a new panel or say you've removed the actuator or command shaft, you've done some sort of service work, uh, the important part is to disconnect and remove the power cables to the actuators uh, before you start up anything else. Reason being, when you go to, when the panel starts up, it's going to automatically start talking to the actuators and try to put it in the position that it believes it should be in from where it thinks it is, not necessarily where it actually is. So from there, we're going to log in to the panel. And then we're going to go into our menu and our slide calibrations. Once in the slide calibration screen, we can now plug in the actuators. The actuator plugged in, we can remove the top cover and we're going to inspect to make sure that the direction is going the right way. You'll confirm in your menu, or your manual, sorry, uh, the correct rotation for your machine. For me to increase, I should be seeing a counterclockwise position. Well, I actually have an alarm on mine. It's saying that I'm out of calibration. I got an issue with EFROM. So I'm gonna do an initial calibration and I'm gonna check rotation then. So I'm gonna take this blue button on the panel or on the right on the board on the actuator and push it once and I'm gonna to go to a rapid flashing. It means now with my capacity, when I hit, I'm gonna to need to go to minimum position on my capacity slide. I can do that from the screen. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna watch, make sure that I'm going in the right direction. And I'm moving to minimum position. And you can see that from the command shaft. Now it's important when we're looking at rotation that we're looking at the command shaft for correct rotation and not at the spindle. The command shaft is the correct one. That's what we're looking at. This is actually going to go the wrong way. So from here, we're going to finish going down to a minimum position. We're just going to keep going. Now you'll hear that motor load up. So we're going to go, and that's how we know we're at the mechanical stop. So now that we're at the mechanical stop, we're going to release some of that tension off of the spindle, off the actuator. And we're going to increase. We're going to move up to the mat. We're going to hit increase to move away from the mechanical stop. One, two, and that's away from our stop. So from there, we're going to now go back to the actuator. We're gonna push the button one more time. We're gonna, that rapid flashing is now a slow flash. And again, we'll go into the screen. This time we're gonna go all the way to full. We're gonna go to 100% on the capacity. And again, we're gonna go until we reach that mechanical stop on the actuator. We've got a cutaway so we can see it happening, but in the real world, you're not going to be able to see it. So we have to rely on the mechanical stop. And so we're gonna to listen to it and wait for it to happen. And again, it's gonna going to bear up. We're gonna hear that. So again, we're gonna release that mechanical tension. And then we're gonna go backwards just for a couple of seconds to get away from the mechanical stop. One, two. And we're gonna to go to the actuator. We're gonna push the blue button one more time. And with the actuator, if the LED stops flashing, it means it has accepted the calibration and it's ready to go. To verify that we're calibrated, we can actually go back to the menu and back to the main screen. And we're going to automatically return to zero because that's what the panel is going to tell him wants this to be when it goes to start. So we're going to continue to watch the actuator and make sure that when it hits zero, 
you don't hit a mechanical stop. That looks to be a good calibration. At this point, you'd put the cover back on, screw it back down, and then rinse and repeat on the volume slide. And that's the slide valve calibration you know, on a VSS VSM screw compressor with using the Vision 2020 panel. I'm Ryan Osbach with Copeland Canada. Thanks for watching.